Hi, ladies and gentlemen. So today we have with us in the house the Team Singapore Basketballers. Woo! Hello. Ah. On my left is oh. Han Ping. We have Delvin as well as Joel Rutten. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to find out a bit more about these guys and basically ask them some personal questions and find out their likes and dislikes. So first of all, Han Ping, what's your favorite food, man? Ah, uh, chicken rice any day. Oh, chicken any rice is yeah, quite a common, common restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Seems to be the So it's uh, salty or bitey? Uh, any uh, just give me chicken rice, chicken breast. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, uh, anywhere. <laughs> Someone's been watching our videos. Yeah, so yeah, I really like chicken breast. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. How about you, Delvin? I'm a guy that's <laughs> I'm cool with anything. anything. But he doesn't share food. I don't share food. I don't share food. No saliva. Yeah. No, please, no saliva. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Water, water, can share water. Cannot. You cannot even, <laughs> even touch. Worse, yeah, you cannot even touch. If you even try to touch, I will be mad. Oh, so if I share your bottle, I must drink like that one. Like this. Cannot even. Cannot. 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 So you all buy same store lah. Chicken rice, uh, chicken rice, chicken rice. 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 But if you are talking about before the game, then it's something that is a pop 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 pop. Like just get your get your heart beat fast, ah. Pop 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 pop. Me ah, me again. I'm anything really. I'm really the anything guy. Just like I don't have like yeah. Just like food. I don't have anything that I like in particular. But then yeah, I'm Mister Anything. Facing guy. Facing also guy. I was just listen. Yeah. Whatever's on the radio, whatever your teammates are listening to, you just yeah go with it. Yeah, I'm just go with it. Easy going guy. Yep. For me, it's quite mainstream, ah. So usually it's like pop and stuff. Yeah. Like the top twenty. Global global top fifty or something. And then you just you just go with it. So it's young youngster, youngster. Your favorite young man. What's your favorite radio station in that case? Uh, usually I listen to Nine Eight Seven. Yeah. So just like Stephanie. Okay. Yeah. So there you have it. Yeah. Over to you, John. Yeah. So. Next up in a uh, in, in our list of questions, so what kind of shows? What's your favorite show? If you're talking about, I don't know whether you watch TV shows. Yeah. Uh, place, you? No, I prefer movie because uh, if you're talking about a series, don't really have the time, and I will be very eager to finish the whole series. <laughs> so usually I just watch movies, and uh, my favorite movie will be Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah. Nice. Will Smith, Will Smith, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah Will Smith guy, or oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> really oh, deep, my favorite. Deep, uh, deep, yeah. deep, deep, I like Blood Diamond as well. Nice, mm. yeah. big names. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what and what about that movie? Actually, as in, what? Why do you like the movie so much? If you I think mind something that you can relate to. You see, like uh, it's very real and uh, it teaches you a, a lot of values about life, and you know, it makes you feel very. Oh. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> the, the combo just got a bit very deep. Yeah. Romance, romance, romance. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. come, 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 come. Yeah. Very moved. The atmosphere just got a lot yeah. darker, yeah. a lot more somber, very serious. Yeah, but what about you, Delvin? Delvin, anything? Mister, anything again? Yeah, 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 yeah. But <laughs> particularly, I every time watch CUT, <laughs> <laughs> Journey to the West. Every time, last C games, I'm watching the same CUT. Again. <laughs> this time, I'm wearing, I'm, I'm watching the same one. So which CUT? Yeah, which version? Which version? Are we talking version? about here? Nine, Steven Chow, uh? 90, 96. The <laughs> starring Zhang Wei Jian. Zhang Wei and the oh. Chen Haoming one. The key, the key. Yeah, the key, the one. Yeah, okay. I always watch that one. <laughs> and and, and what's the reason? For four C games. And you right? rewatch it. Oh, I really watch it every time. And on and the bus, yeah. before the game, I just watch it. Pre game routine. What's, what's the reason game. you like it yeah. so much? I don't know. It's what, just what funny. You to the movie? I'm just, funny yeah. It's just what? funny. And then I just like it. I don't know. It's why. not because it's very deep and it's just no, your values. No, no, no. Okay, I, I'm, <laughs> like I'm an emotional guy. I always cry when I watch it. But then. What? Because of Huli Ting? Huli Ting? Oh, shit. Awesome. Interesting. Yeah, what about you, Jordan? For me, it's like quite youngster one lah. So usually it's like action High movies five. and stuff. Telly Tubbies, Pop Off Girls. Telly Tubbies, Pop Off Girls. 
Okay, anyway, Bao Bao girls, speaking on the topic of girls, what's the one thing you guys think is the most romantic thing that a guy can do for them? One thing that is. See, curveball like that. Tough question. Yeah. For me, it's about the little things every day. Eh. It's not about that one thing. Eh. <laughs> yeah. So what are the little things? Eh? Yeah. Wow. Little Fine things. Up, right? yeah. Like call her before you sleep. You know, like uh, just uh, always constantly keep in touch. <laughs> uh, Sounds like reporting strength. Eh. <laughs> yeah, reporting reporting strength. strength. Oh my God. I mean, just <laughs> do random surprises. Uh. Not anything that is too extravagant or anything mm. like that like okay. just little surprises every day just to know, let her know that you be in my heart <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I think watching your karaoke session very random from hunting there very nice yeah. yourself yeah. Kelvin? me uh, anything it's the same uh. I think it's the same <laughs> uh. about all the little things that you do every day uh. because no girls right, see remember a lot a lot of all these little things so mm. yeah it's the little it's things like that count, yeah, yeah. cumulative so you yeah. score all the brownie points yep instead of scoring one big brownie mm-hmm. point mm-hmm. okay i think for me it's the same yeah okay so yeah, i'm gonna ban the answer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's really the same right? <laughs> yeah. things. Everything is the same answer. <laughs> i think there's one thing one thing one thing that is really romantic i think it's about sharing the chicken rice <laughs> This one cannot say anything. Not share. <laughs> oh, I share with my girlfriend. Yeah. I share oh, my double girlfriend. standard. I share with oh, my girlfriend. Yeah. The double standard has a. Oh wait, she yeah. share with her girlfriend, right? I mean, his girlfriend, right? But he doesn't share with the mom. Oh, I share with the mom also. Actually, uh, share no. Share with my mom. My mom. My mom. Share with my mom. I got. I got share. My coco also have. Now getting better. Now getting better. So you can share with everybody. Families. Yeah. And family. Only family. I thought you say with brotherhood. No, no, this one different. This one different. Yeah, so the the answer for that just came out. Yeah. Hey, so you really gonna go with the the control C, control V, copy and paste the answer, lah? No. <laughs> it's okay, so uh, it's okay. So let's 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 listen to yeah. Huh? Yeah. What's the one most yeah, what's the romantic one, thing, one thing most romantic that you yeah. think is that a guy or funny. a girl? <laughs> <laughs> wow. A bit hard, ah. One most romantic. Uh. Buy a papa power few. Most power power girls together. I think uh you have to it's like you need to take note of like the things that she say and remembers. Mm. Like yeah. All the little things uh, that she does. I think like you will I think these are little things that uh will move the girls uh. yeah. Some stuff. Being mm. attentive. Look at him. Being attentive, Look at being sensitive. Young guy. Meticulous. Yeah, awesome guy. stuff. Wow. <laughs> Great answers from our B-ballers. Mm-hmm. Next up, okay, um, maybe you guys can share like, who's the one person who inspired you the most growing up? <laughs> Come on, man, big head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 my mom, uh, because my mom, uh, she's not very well educated and uh, she, she, uh, in a way, made a living out of her hard work. So I learned that, you know, in life, sometimes it's about the effort that you put in and you know, it's not about starting at the back of the race, but as long as you put in the work, then you can achieve results. Yeah, so... Mama, I love you! Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 well done, oh, yeah. this one already. Already yeah. halfway there. Already. Cannot copy the same answer. Uh, yeah, huh? Mama, Papa, I love you! Uh, <laughs> everybody uh, has uh, one. So everyone will say that. No, I, I, think, I think it will be Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Because I no wonder Delvin Bryant. Because Delvin Bryant. Yeah, yeah, my face was uh, inspired by him. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram Delvin Bryant. No, 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 no. Oh, no Delvin no. Go, Delvin Go. Because I, I think I didn't want to play basketball okay. at the age of ten. Okay. But because I'm tall, I'm in track and field, I can run. So my teacher in charge put me uh, into basketball. But I was being forced, lah. So after that, I slowly I pick up basketball. I slowly watch Kobe Bryant. I see how he work and all that. So then slowly, yeah start to love, have love for the game. And what, what do you love most about Kobe Bryant? Which ethic or which attribute His work he ethic. has? I mean like he can wake up 4am in, in the morning just to work out. So yeah, that's, that's the little things. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Mm-hmm. Jordan? Okay, for me personally, it's uh, my grandmother. Because I live with my grandparents and uh, since young she has been taking care of me. So like all the little things that she does for me, like uh, after training, like cook for me at night, like make sure that I'm I'm back at home, 
like all these things like I think like uh, we always want to give back to our uh, elders la, who take care of us and like also uh, she's always very supportive of me playing basketball yeah, even though I have to study and like yeah, do both uh, it's not easy yeah, but she's always been very supportive very moving answers there from our we bought us again and so far yeah, so back touching, to you. Yeah. I also <laughs> want to say hi to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back I'll home. Take the chance, take the chance. Yeah. Back soon. Yeah. Please take care of yourselves. Okay, so moving forward. We understand that there's a very strong network of you know, support team that's providing assistance to our Team Singapore athletes, mm-hmm. the coaches, the sports scientists, our sports dietitians. So how have how have this support group, the team around the team, you know, help you guys as an athlete on your journey? so far let's go captain I think tremendously out of the way because I think in the past <coughs> you can give yourself excuses oh we don't have this we don't have that uh, basketball is not you know something that everyone plays all this kind of thing but gradually because of all the support that we've been getting you realise that hey this like sports is actually possible as a career and and uh, that actually helped me decide that oh I really want to do basketball for a living and uh, through basketball I can impact a lot of little children's life which is what I love to do uh, like I like to interact with kids yeah it makes me look younger as well <laughs> <Cha-ching>! <laughs> <Cha-ching>! <laughs> no that I want to look young la, you know? steady yeah, yeah. I, I rather look old so ah. people treat you more serious seriously yeah <laughs> I rather look old you know <laughs> uh, okay um, yeah. how about you Jarvis of course the coaches have been helping us a lot like they will pick you up individually talk to you um, telling you some little things all, it's all about little things so all the little things that count about your hand when you shoot about where to put the ball when you shoot and all that so yeah um, without them I think we don't even know that we are actually doing all the mistakes so we want to thank them yeah. awesome how about you Jonathan? Uh, it's about I think like the coaches uh, for this is like my first SEA Games uh, so like being part of the national program really opens up a lot for me because like there are a lot of uh, I think the whole coaching and the management and especially like the nutritionist or even the physio they are doing a really good job to help us like uh, recover and the coaches are giving really good advice to help us improve our game like at the inter- inter- international level so it's uh, very different from like how you are like playing in Singapore or against the locals mm-hmm. yeah Oh yeah, and uh, I just want to touch on like uh, you would like to thank Darwis uh, for uh, Darwis, uh, Darwis, uh, Darwis, 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 Darwis. Uh, for always helping us to uh, you know rehab yeah, and uh, us, yeah. and on top of that uh, helping us be on our top uh, on our top condition and uh, and uh, help help us you know massage and all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you to, yeah, so my la- to the team around the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic job. That they are all for the team support athletes during this SEA Games period yeah. and beyond, of course, yeah. throughout the year, in every in every competition. In fact, yeah, we have right. a brilliant uh, sports science team as well. So, um, we are also keen to find out, you know, what are the challenges that you have faced in your journey, you know, from your younger days and up to now as an athlete. What was that one challenge that you had to overcome? to get to where you are today? I don't think there's any one challenge, but uh, along the way, you definitely meet a lot of different challenges. And uh, being an athlete, especially in Singapore, I think a lot of people discourage you from doing it. And uh, yeah, but uh, at the end of the day, it's really what you really want to do, what makes you happy, right? So this is why I chose this path. And yeah, I, I think challenges are good. It toughens you up as a person and it helps you to influence the people around you. So uh, when you meet a challenge, embrace it and embrace the challenge and, and uh, ultimately be happy. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges is to tell yourself that you are actually not good enough. Because in the past when we are playing in Singapore, we are the best among the best at our age. But then when you go out to the international level, you sort of see like things it's actually not so easy because I remember my first international competition I went to play against Korea I'm like oh they are, sh- they are okay they are normal human beings and we play in the morning at 8am trashed by 70 points 
that's when I was 14 and then I was like oh should I give up on basketball I think I'm done with this so it's, but then yeah I think the biggest challenge is to tell you that to tell yourself that you're actually not good enough so you have to just keep working 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 yeah constantly so, aim to get better and better yep yep better beats perfect is it? <laughs> yeah for me I think it's sim- similarly from like the transition from the local to the inter- international level definitely the competition and the intensity is tougher so like uh, we really need to toughen up our skills as as well as uh, our intensity to match up with uh, the region's best yeah so i think that this is uh, one obstacle that we have to overcome okay that's interesting good inputs okay we'll probably need to uh, round it up now to the the final question which is uh just now you t- you touched on you know I mean all of you touched on the, the different obstacles that you face growing up to I mean to where you are now so what's the one piece of advice you would give any aspiring uh, youth or young basketballer who's hoping to to take the same path to perhaps one day become national basketballer as well in Singapore for me uh, it would be dream big and don't set your limits to what the previous batches has, has achieved you should be looking beyond that and always try to challenge the older guys and and um, try to surpass them at a younger age and not just oh give yourself a reason that oh you're only 17 you're only 18 you're only 20 but rather think about a mindset that oh if I can beat this guy that's 28 when I'm just 20 years old how good would it be so you want to constantly challenge the older guys so that when you're 28 you'll be somewhere else rather than similar to what the current 28 is achieving. So this is why I'm very hard on the younger ones and I may seem like an, I mean a really bad guy, but this is why I'm, this is also why I really want the best for them, just that sometimes I'm just trying to find the right way to bring, a, bring this across to them. Yeah. Okay. That's wise words indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Alvin? I'm just going to say, uh, stay humble because uh, you just have to keep working because even if you are at your best someone's gonna take over you so be humble keep working and then yeah for me being the youngest i think like uh listening to advice is very important from the seniors and the coaches (laughs) and also like what delvin said stay humble uh yeah keep improving every day like don't stop don't limit yourself like keep going Uh, i think that uh like sky's the limit yeah Yep, so there you have it. We hope you've gotten to know our b-ballers a little better after today's show. A bit more yep. into their personal lives. But that's not the end. We're going to get them to autograph some exclusive memorabilia here. Yep. And you can stand a chance to win it simply by liking and sharing this video. Yep, just like all uh, all the other videos Ooh, of this yep. series. So guys, if you could we're going to get our uh, basketballers um, The black marker for the notebook. A few, and then the gold uh, one for this one. Team okay. Singapore yeah. memorabilia. On the cover. Yeah, on the cover. Also, apart from these, uh, this uh, notebook, Team Singapore notebook and tumbler, which is going to be autographed by all three of them, we, there are also two um, training tops, I understand, that's going to be, that's autographed by the entire team. Okay. <laughs> that, that's also up for grabs. So, in a short while, you get to see those two training tops that's autographed by the entire Team Singapore basketball team. And likewise, you can win those exclusive items by liking and sharing this video. So thank you guys. Thanks for joining us uh, for our interview with Hanpin, Delvin, and uh, Jonathan. 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 Not Jonathan, but Jonathan. 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 <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Jordan, R. No, not not jo- and Laura. It's not Jonathan. It's John. Yeah, this one Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and follow the Team Singapore Facebook page as well as stay tuned for more of such videos, as well as exciting content with our Team Singapore athletes, and also, not just for the Sea Games but for the rest of the year as well. Remember to hashtag all your content with One Team SG. Show your support for our national athletes. Okay, they are, they're training really hard. Um, they're also enjoying themselves as well. It's play hard, train hard. And as you can see, they are fantastic people. They're fun people. They are our next door neighbors. They are our champions. So thank you again. This is John. 
This is Gary. We hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah. Signing off. Signing off. Bye bye.